Hi guys, so in this video, we're going to see how we can create realistic gunshots, muzzle flashes right inside of Premiere Pro. So, and to do this, we're going to use assets from the real muzzle flash kit. So, let's get started. I have a fresh project opened up in here with this footage of a soldier basically just shooting the gun right over here. So, let's see how that looks in here. It is, the footage is in slow motion in this case. So, to start off, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to tweak this, this speed in here to make it like real time a little bit faster. Uh, in this case, I need to, so speed and duration, I need to make that 200% actually. So, let's see the speed now. That is much better. It could even go a little bit faster, so let's make that to 300%. Perfect. And let's see how that looks. Perfect. So that is better now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my muzzle flashback in here. So when you download this kit, when you purchase this kit, you will find this folder, this, this project which is for Adobe After Effects, but you can then use the footage in here of it in any software basically. So let's enter in here and you will see all the footage in here, as you can see arranged in different folders. So we have bullet shells, bullet streaks, dust bursts, laser beams, and even muzzle flash footage in here. So in this case, I need a muzzle flash. So I'm simply going to go in here. You can of course preview them just like that to see what you want to bring in and this one i quite like this one zero four so simply drag and drop right inside your project window right over here so that's done let's minimize that and now what we can do is we can simply bring that right over our footage as you can see right now it is on black so the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to muzzle flash go to your effect controls and from here, pick the blending mode and set that to screen. And as you can see now, it is right over our, our footage, just like that. Now, of course, it is facing the wrong direction, so we need to rotate that to make it like face that direction. And then we can position it as well, so that it is emitting from the gun. And of course, you can even scale that down so that it fits properly in here. Now we need to find the place where he is shooting. So that is exactly right here. And let's go closer in there. And that's actually correct in there. So let's place that right over there. Perfect. And let's see how that looks. We're basically, we're almost done here. So let's hit play. And there you go. You have the, that nice muzzle flash right over the footage. Now, another thing that we can do in here, we can even add a bullet shell. So to do that, we're simply going to go to our footage in here and I'm going to select a bullet shell. Now you have ones that are on white and ones that are on black. They are exactly the same. The difference is basically how you want to impl implement them. If your scene is quite bright, I would go for one that is on white. Otherwise I would go for something that is on, on black. So in this case, let's try the black one. So bullet shell 02 looks good. I'm simply going to drag and drop it right over here. Simply position it right over there. As you can see, it's on black right now. So I need to pick that layer and make that, make that to screen. Perfect. And I wanted to omit from somewhere like around here, from the back of the gun or the middle. Let's 
let's see if I make it from the back like that and let's see how that looks perfect so like that now you can see even the bullet shell getting out out of there as you can see so that's basically it so as you can see you can simply drag and drop these muzzle flashes these these footage files right over the footage in here place them and you're set to go so that's how you will you create a gunshot in in premiere pro thank you very much for watching